I'm going to show you how reusable transitions work in Flinto. This is one of the more powerful features in Flinto. It's a little bit different than anything you might have seen in other apps, but it's not that hard to learn and you'll be glad you figured it out. So I'm going to link this picture of sunglasses to this screen and I'm going to create a new transition. And I'll call this my fun transition. I want this go back label to fade in. And I want the sunglasses to do a 360. So I'm just going to set the rotation to 360. And you can see those rotate as the transition plays. Maybe I'll make this background fade in as well. So it's easier to see the glasses spinning. Now you'll notice whenever I move a layer or modify its properties in the transition designer, a little tag appears around that layer here in the layer list. And the tag name matches the name of the layer underneath it. You can drag the tag off to see what name is under it, and you can move the tags between layers. I'm going to make this link go back. And I've got this other link here, go to shoe. And I've got another set of screens here. So I'm going to make that link go to the shoe screen. Let's link this shoe to this screen. And I'm going to use that same transition, my fun transition. But to see what's going on and make sure everything's working right, I'll click the edit button here. Now I can play the transition and I see the go back button and the background layer. They're fading in just like I wanted, but the shoe is not spinning. And that's because if we look over here at the tags, the go back tag and the rectangle two tag, those matched the layer names on this screen. But the glasses tag didn't match any layer names here. There's a layer called shoe and that's actually the one I wanted to use. But it doesn't know that glasses is supposed to be applied to shoe. So it's easy enough to fix. I just drag that right onto this layer shoe. And now shoe does a 360. It's also possible to drag it onto the wrong layer and you'll see that the, the background now does a 360. Now it feels a little bit weird to name to drag a tag named glasses onto a layer named shoe. You can rename the tags to be more descriptive. So I might call this screen content because it's the content in the screen that this tag applies to. That makes a little bit more sense. Now let me just link these up. And let's check out the preview. Cool. That's how reusable transitions work. If you're really smart with how you name your layers, like if I named this screen content and I also named the shoe screen content, then I wouldn't have to do any tag application manually in the transition designer. But it's up to you whether you want to spend the time to name your layers appropriately or you can just go in and drag the tags to where they need to go. There's a lot of powerful things you can do with this feature and I'll get into some more of those in a later video.